Hi, I'm Brandywine curator Amanda Burden, and I've selected a favorite work of mine from the collection to share with you today. This watercolor and ink drawing by George Taylor Wright is inscribed with its title, Distant View of the Residence of Samuel Spots, Spring Township, Perry County, Pennsylvania. The artist also wrote the precise date the drawing was made on the work, May 31st, 1868. The sheet of paper is 23 and 3 quarter inches tall and 33 inches wide. The drawing depicts a large red brick farmhouse with multiple entrances and many shuttered windows on the right, and a white barn with green shutters and cupolas on the left. The property shown is marked by several fences and very stylized trees. The tree forms are so similar in their patterns of branches that they appear to have been made by a rubber stamp. But if you look closely, you'll see that each one is individually hand painted. I'm interested in works of art like this one because of the incredible amount of historical detail they offer. Itinerant artists and draftsmen traveled the country in the 18th and 19th century, offering their artistic services to citizens. Many commissioned family portraits from artists like this, or in this case, a portrait of their home and farm. Wright offers not only the specific location of this farm and the exact date on which the drawing was made, but he also takes pains to render artistic details as well, like the individual bricks or the placement and number of doors and windows. The fan window over the central door and in the peak of the roof, the position of the exterior stairs and the arrangement of the fencing create what was likely a very accurate representation of the property, even though the artist had difficulty in rendering traditional one-point perspective to give the illusion of a believable three-dimensional building. In fact, the information given in this drawing is so accurate and specific that it is possible to do a little research on the Spots family online and learn that they resided in what is now known as Alinda, Pennsylvania. The hill represented behind the house is known as Spots Knob, and with a little investigation, one can locate the property on Google Maps. The images captured by the map car as it traveled down Wagoner's Gap Road reveals the brick structure still stands today. It is identifiable by its windows, including the fan windows and doors. The barn appears to have been rebuilt at some point, but still stands in the approximate location of the original white barn. Even some of the fencing depicted by Wright is still recognizable in the 21st century images. Over the coming months, I'll be exploring more of the map-related works in the Brandywine collection and doing further investigations to match the artistic locations with their real-world counterparts today.